So what I'm going to be reporting on today is a Mac Power Splash coming for 2021 Six Flags Magic Mountain. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadongster Born, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update, the last Theme Park News update today from Six Flags Magic Mountains. So make sure if you want a shout out in one of tomorrow's videos, get your shout outs coming in down below in the comments uh, section if you want a shout out for tomorrow. Uh, for the first video tomorrow, so make sure you stay tuned for those shout outs. Um, so yes, this is from Six Flags Magic Mountain and this actually follows on from a video that we did earlier on, I think a couple of weeks ago now, week or two ago now, um, or could be three weeks ago, you never know. Uh, but I think it's around two weeks ago, I believe, off the top of my head, when we released a video on a rumour that there could be a B&M dive coaster going into Six Flags Magic Mountain for 2021. Now. We do have some new information that could link to that rumour, but this involves the ride that could be removed to make way for a new 2021 development. So I definitely think something's happening uh, for 2021 at Six Flags Magic Mountain, no matter what it is. But a new ride type has popped up in the same location we predicted, or was rumoured, a B&M dive coaster for 2021. So, according to a big new rumour, the park are apparently looking to retire their tidal wave boat ride, which is what we said. Uh, in the dive coaster rumor video, we said that you know, with um, with Green Lantern first flight gone, um, we could see tidal wave go as well, and that could open up a nice big site for a dive coaster. However, a dive coaster in this particular rumor has not been mentioned. Now, with tidal wave going, the big rumor is a Mac power splash, depending on the success of the new Aquaman power wave in 2020 at Six Flags over Texas. Now, we know that. Over Texas are investing in their in the first map power splash in the states. Uh, this is Aquaman Power Wave replacing their their shoot the shoot ride Aquaman Splashdown, which of course has already been all demolished and the site's already been cleared. Tracks already on site before the announcement came out, so we pretty much knew what was coming here because of those shipment reports, the track on site, and the demolishment of Aquaman Splashdown. So we knew what was coming to Over Texas way before the announcement came out. Uh, so. It wasn't one of the most surprising of the announcements for Six Flags uh, for next year, uh, but we had a, we still we were still very excited about what was coming to Over Texas next year. Um, and now, depending on the success of Aquaman Power Wave, Magic Mountain could be the next part to get a power splash. Now, first of all, I'm going to say straight off the bat, if they do, it will be a clone of Aquaman Power Wave. I'm just going to say it now; it will be, and of course. This kind of puts a spanner in the works because, of course, you could have easily used that Green, Mount, Green Lantern first flight site for a 40 free spin. But then I thought, hang on a minute, a power splash over both sites makes more sense because of the fact they've got X2, which is technically a fourth dimension coaster, a 40 coaster. Um, of course, that's the sort of uh, fourth dimension coaster, if you don't know already. Uh, originally X, and then it was. Uh, Rethemed a few years later to X2 and given a new paint job, given a new like a new X2 name if you didn't know already. Um, so I think they technically got a 4D coaster with X2 and a wing coaster technically with fourth dimension seats. So again, I could see why they're not going to go with a 4D free spin on Green Lantern site. Now that's being moved to Leron for next year to open up as Vpair. Um, so I think that a map power splash would definitely make sense on that site. But, again, it goes back to that video we did a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago. What about the B&M dive coaster rumour? Now, it, was, it came from someone who commented down below that dive coaster rumour and was told by, uh, by people from the park. Now, um, like, like, and to be fair, it's like he said in his own comment. Keep an eye out, I think it's around January 2020 for any construction uh, or any sort of groundwork and stuff like that, or just any any kind of construction work. So I do think that uh, we'll stay tuned. Um, there could be a video coming out in January then when the Tidal Wave starts getting demolished uh, or if they announce at some point before the end of the season around Fright Fest time that Tidal Wave is being removed, basically. Um, so we're going to have to keep our eyes out for this because this definitely seems like it could be a very interesting period for Six Flags Magic Mountain. Now, of course, we know that next year is not going to be the big year for Magic Mountain. We're not even going to get a new ride for Magic Mountain because, of course, this fall, fall 2019, they're going to be opening West Coast races. 
They've already opened Apocalypse, that's all been retracked apparently, or just refurbished. Uh, and apparently that's running better than ever, so glad to see Apocalypse is staying and not being turned into a second RMC. <laughs> um, and things like that, so I'm kind of glad about that. Uh, so it's nice to see Apocalypse staying um, at the park. Uh, but of course, uh, West Coast Races will be opening in fall 2019, and we know that for 2020 they're going to be expanding Holiday in the Park and Fright Nights in that new underground section where Apocalypse and West Coast Races now stands. Of course, if you didn't know where West Coast Races is, it's that old Cyclone Bay area where Deja Vu once sat, uh, and it's sort of stretching along that new piece of land. So, again, it's a nice investment for Magic Mountain. Good to see it open this fall. Track's been completed for that for West Coast Races now. Hopefully we're going to get some testing anytime soon. Uh, it should be within the next week or two at the maximum. We should get some testing footage uh, for West Coast races. Not on the channel, unfortunately. Uh, I wish I was over in California getting testing footage for West Coast races. Uh, but uh, hopefully other channels that do, you know, like construction updates, more construction updates than we do. Uh, we're, all, we're about the news, not really construction updates. So anyone that does construction updates, hopefully will get some testing footage on their channels anytime soon. So make sure you go and check out Make sure you stay tuned, see if you can find any POV footage for West Coast races, and hopefully by around end of September, start of October, fingers crossed, uh, West Coast races will be open before 2020 starts. So we're going to see that open, and then of course Holiday in the Park and Fright Fest will be expanded in 2020 into that new underground section uh, for their investment. But I do believe that 2021 will be a year for Magic Mountain, as well as maybe... Uh, Fiesta Texas, maybe it could be their year, and you never know, I think Six Flags St. Louis could have their year as well. Um, you know, there's big, there's rumours going around from people that they want, that they think that 2021 will be the year that Boss gets RMC to St. Louis, Raw could get RMC the year after, or maybe the same year from Six Flags America. Uh, I don't think that's the case with Raw, I think that's probably going to be 2022, just for the fact that they've invested in a, um, a force conversion of Firebird this year. And they're getting a big new flat ride next year. So I don't think that'll be the case for America in 2021. I think that's more 2022. Boss RMC, I think that's pretty much could be a possibility. Especially with the video that we did only a few days ago with the teasers. Uh, and sort of what could be the case with the boss. So again, maybe the time is now that St. Louis gets a coaster. An original coaster. Um, and I do think that Magic Mountain will have its year in 2021. To open coaster number 20, 21 whether it's a Power Splash or a Dive Coaster. But I think Matt Power Splash and a B&M Dive are the two main predictions. Now, of course, if you want to see me do more predictions for Six Flags, stay tuned next year because the early 2020 prediction... 2020? The early 2021 predictions are going to be coming out around springtime next year. Then, of course, around May time, it will be the uh, mid-season predictions for 2021. And then, of course... Start of August to mid-August will be the uh, final 2021 predictions for Six Flags, Mullen Entertainment and Cedar Fair. So thank you very much for watching this video from Six Flags Magic Mountain on their 2021 attraction. Could be a pass splash, could be a dive, but I think one thing's for certain, let's keep an eye out over the winter period to see the closure and demolishment of Tidal Wave and to see fences being put up around both the Green Lantern and Tidal Wave sites. It kind of helps that both are in, I think Tidal Wave's right near to the DC area where Green Lantern is, so, you know, they're right next to each other, so those sites can join up pretty well and have sort of the entrance and the exit in the DC section, but use maybe some of the back end of Tidal Wave's site for queuing, etc., depending on what ride they're going to invest in. So, again, should be pretty cool. Uh, but my name is Coach Chow. Make sure you like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the Coach Chow YouTube channel, and click the notification bell so you never miss your video. I'm Coach Chow, Doncaster born, but built for theme park news. Keep on the coast alive, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for more theme park newsroom updates. Take care, have an awesome day, my friends.